Today we're going to turn this into images like these. The problem with teaching AI to draw a specific character is, there are many settings and many places where things can go wrong. I'm going to demonstrate the easiest way to get something working. And what better to do this with than Neurosama, who is an AI streamer. Firstly we get some training pictures. Use your favourite photo editing software to get a 512 by 512 pixel image. You can crop to a square selection and scale the image to 512 by 512 and then repeat a few times for some other images. As we're just getting started and doing some basic training, we don't need too many images and they don't have to be the best of quality. Neurosama actually uses the Hiori Mimose Sample Life 2D model, which I posed in their Cubism software to get some more poses. That along with a few more screenshots from the live stream, I got a basic sample of images to use for the hyper network training. Everything you need is built in in the automatic 1111 interface. Go to the train tab, create hyper network, give it a name, leave all the settings at their defaults, hit create type of network, go to the pre-process images tab, copy the image directory into the source directory, set the destination directory to another folder, anything will do, and then click use deep bore roof or caption. Click pre-process and this will automatically add captions to all your images. If you look in the destination directory, you'll see something like this. Every image now has captions added. You can check by opening up any one of these files. They look something like this. Okay, back to the interface. Copy the destination directory. Go to the train tab. Paste the directory into dataset directory. Select your hyper network by hitting the refresh button and choosing it from the drop down menu. Try to choose a model that has a similar art style to what you're going for. Scroll down to the bottom of the settings and we will only make one change. Save an image every 50 steps. So it's easier to see what's going on. And we're ready. Press train hyper network. You can see it going through the files that we made earlier. You can also keep an eye on the images being generated to see if they're looking closer and closer to what we want. In this case it's looking pretty good so far. Normally you can tell by about 500 steps whether it's getting worse or better. If your images are descending into chaos, try different training images or if you're feeling adventurous, experiment around with the settings. You can interrupt the training at any time by scrolling down and hitting the interrupt button. To see your hyper network in action, go back to the texture image tab and choose your hyper network prompt by clicking on the show extra networks button, hyper networks, press refresh, click on your hyper network and the prompt should appear. Or you can manually type this out. For the rest of the prompt, go to the processed images folder, open up one of the text files, copy and paste this prompt after your hyper network tag. Hit the generate button, and voila, a basic hyper network model. As a little bonus, here are some images from a hyper network that I've trained for a bit longer. I experimented with using it on different models. I hope this tutorial has been useful for you, for providing a foundation for you to experiment off of. Good luck and happy generating.